They just came across the road as we were bearing witness to the truck and brought over a hot dog and offered it to us. The idea of 10,000 pigs just being slaughtered and turned into bacon every day. Mm. Salivating, just thinking about it. Political commentator Michael Knowles recently attempted and failed to debunk veganism. In this cringe-tastic yet simultaneously sadistic and apathetic diatribe in which he pours over vegan TikTok videos and responds to them badly. Few things make me happier than chomping down on some dead, juicy, delicious animals. I really don't have time this week to go over the whole video, but in all honesty, it's a whole lot of nothing. So I'd rather just offer Michael the opportunity to debate veganism and animal rights if he is so confident in his position that vegans are quote unquote wrong. Michael prides himself on facts, logic, and critical thought. But the level of intellect displayed in this video is absolute bottom tier carnist troll. I'm talking like the 12 year old bacon trolls you see on TikTok who write a dumb comment while on their lunch break at school. Michael displays his ignorance of veganism really early on in the video by lumping in veganism and vegans with wokeness. Meaning Michael is so blue-pilled that he doesn't understand the difference between woke and awake. Being the blue-pilled sleepwalker that he is, Michael probably has no idea that many vegans, such as myself, constantly speak out against woke culture, and that most woke people are actually carnists, chomping down on the body parts of murdered animals, just like him. This is because woke people rarely care about real issues of injustice, like the animal holocaust, the largest act of violence and suffering on the planet, choosing instead to focus on comparatively trivial US-centric nonsense. Michael even uses woke logic later in the video, which we'll come to. So Michael, from one non-woke person to another, Let's have a debate on veganism. If you want someone who agrees with you on battling woke ideology to really challenge you and push you on your regressive and backward views on this subject. So you actually believe that you aren't an animal? Of course not. Of course what I'm not an animal. animal. I'm a human being. I'm and a homo sapiens. We're mammals. Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. But she, she made the error from the beginning. And I guess the guy was not totally precise in his language either. Don't be ridiculous. Which is, yes, we're animals. We're just a different kind of animal. Human beings are animals, but we're rational animals. We have a rational soul. We have will and intellect. We can conceive of things in the abstract, and we can turn our will toward those things rationally. We don't just follow our appetitive will. We don't just follow our base will. We don't just follow our desires for food or whatever, but we also follow our higher will and our, our concept of justice. The, the beasts can't have a concept of justice. Yes, Michael, while we are animals, we are separate from the rest of the animal kingdom in that we have moral agency. You talk about concept of justice, yet where is yours? And why are you so unable to separate yourself from crocodiles here in that you seem unable to philosophize as to why murdering animals is needless and wrong for us to do in this day and age. Midway through the video now, and I wonder who it's sponsored by. Are you tired of waiting ages for your grill to heat up? Well, now you can say goodbye to those tedious moments of impatiently watching the charcoal burn and say hello to instant barbecue perfection thanks to our new friends over at Grill Blazer. Grill Blazer's grill guns are designed to do everything from expertly searing your meats to lighting charcoal grills. Oh, anyway. That's bad if, when we're cruel to animals. But the reason it's bad when we're cruel to animals is not because animals have any rights. I don't want to be cruel to animals, but only because that would dull my humanity. Only because that would turn me into a psycho <laughs> and, and, and in a way uh, probably cr create in me or stoke in me a, uh, an appetite for for suffering, you know, a, a delight. And so that's what like little kids who torture animals, they turn into serial killers. So that's why you do it. But it's not because the animal has a rational soul or any rights or anything like that. It's just because of you. Okay, keep going. Okay, so we're now stranding into lunatic territory. The reason it's bad we enact violence upon someone is not because it's bad to the victim themselves, but because it's bad to us, the one doing it. What kind of absurd, fucked up logic is this, Michael? Do you have that little empathy? Are you that selfish that acts of cruelty to animals are not a crime upon the victims, but a crime upon oneself? I mean, you end up sounding like that cartoonist crank Jim Bob, who holds the position that masturbation is immoral, but burning a dog alive in a fire is not. 
Unless you mean it's an immoral act towards oneself. Okay, skinning a dog alive or throwing it in a fire when it's fully conscious and letting it burn to death. Do you think rights should be codified into law that would protect them from that action? Not necessarily, no. Okay. I, I'm the crazy one, apparently, but he thinks it, people should have the the right to throw their dogs in a fire. Okay. Insane, evil, callous, and truly representative of cognitive impairment with regards to empathy and morals. I mean, you mentioned about how torturing animals would be bad because it would lead to psychopathy, Michael. But if you truly believe that the only reason it's bad is because it's a harmful act against society and against oneself, like Jim Bob does, then you've already reached that stage. Someone who has no empathy for animals and just thinks, well, me being cruel to animals is bad because it affects me, would or should be clinically diagnosed as being a psychopath, because it means there is a part of their brain that is not functioning properly in that regard, i.e. the ability neurotypical people have to put themselves in the victim's position. People like Jim Bob were born with this impairment, and I really hope that this isn't the case with you too, because this is not the sign of a rational or healthy mind. And yes, animals should absolutely be granted rights and be seen as rights bearers, because it is inconsistent to grant humans rights but not animals, which I'm happy to explain to you if you want to have a discussion or debate on this. All right, we're at a pig vigil right now outside of a slaughterhouse that slaughters 10,000 pigs per day. We're bearing a witness to the pigs going in, stopping the trucks, giving them water, giving them love, and then these people show up. They think it's f hilarious to come and set up a barbecue right in front of us. They just came across the road as we were bearing witness to the truck and brought over a hot dog and offered it to us. If you recognize them, give them hell. That was just absolutely delightful and hilarious and so charitable of those young men to offer the poor sweaty climate activists a tasty hot dog. Michael now exposes his sadism and deep lack of moral values with his childlike teenage TikTok troll behavior with regards to the trolling of a pig vigil, where concentration camp trucks full of innocent babies headed towards a gas chamber are temporarily halted by activists who briefly give the pigs water and video them in their dying moments in order to bear witness. Either Michael is sadistic and finds it genuinely funny that anyone would turn up with a barbecue outside a gas chamber to mock the suffering of the innocent victims inside, or he is still just ignorant and blue-pilled over the horrors of what he funds in animal agriculture. Either way, this really is not a good look for Michael. I mean, Michael, is this genuinely funny to you? To use an analogy you might understand, you and the barbecue troll sound like an SJW feminist turning up at a pro-life rally and boasting, ha ha ha, I've had seven abortions and I'm pregnant with an eighth who I'm just about to get rid of as well now. LOL, what are you gonna do about it? You know that level of sadism and cringe when you see an SJW boasting about abortions to pro-lifers? That's exactly what you look like now, mocking people who care about the murder of these sentient beings about to be gassed to death for your bacon. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you've got for this wet ass pussy. Beat it up, catch a charge, extra large and extra hard. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a Kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This pussy is wet, come take a dive. They just came across the road. I mean, is this debunking vegans here, Michael? Is this your proof that vegans are wrong? Are pro-lifers all of a sudden debunked? When some lowlife turns up and boasts about having eight abortions, are the pro-lifers wrong now? So Michael, stop being a little fake woke, blue-pilled sadist and maybe live in line with these alleged principles of rationality that you have. Again, if you're so sure that vegans are wrong, let's have that debate. Reach out to me on any of my socials. Mm. Salivating, just thinking about it.